Hello everyone, I'm Mark Daniel Patrick. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. First things first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then go check out our Patreon page, which is at the link below. We have some great reaction videos there and new ones going up each and every week. You can also find me on Instagram at Mark Daniel Patrick. Now, it's really not like anyone needs five reasons to watch one of the best movie musicals of all time. So let's just consider this a celebration of truly one of the most beautiful films ever produced. Let's also agree that if you get to the end of this video and you still have not and still will not watch The Sound of Music, well then... You are a thief of joy. Anybody else? Yeah. That pretty much sums it up. Top 5. At number 5, The Salzburg Shoot Locations. While most of the interior shots of the film are shot on sound stages in studio, the exteriors give us some of the most beautiful landscape and architecture views ever shot on film. Salzburg, Austria served as the backdrop of the film and featured some of the most iconic landmarks in the city, including Maribel Palace, Nonberg Abbey, the Salzburg Residence Square and Fountain, and Fraunberg Palace. Despite the film's release in 1965, the Sound of Music sightseeing tour is still one of the most popular tourist bucket list items in all of Europe. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. At number 4, Christopher Plummer. Considered one of the finest actors of his generation, Oscar winner Christopher Plummer shot to international stardom with his role as Captain Von Trapp. The stern regimented officer, who runs his home much like a naval ship, brings his classical theater training to a prim and proper role. And what is it from then? Othello! Right as usual, Frank. Pedantic prick. Only to fall victim to the only problem no one can seem to solve. No, I never frequently sing. <laughs> really? Well, my but you won a Tony was, for singing. Yes, I don't know why. Because oh. it's the sort of voice that's like a cro crocodile in heat. Film legends Bing Crosby and Yul Brenner were also considered for the role. Plummer gives us a perfect amount of dangerous naval captain, loving husband, and heartwarming father throughout the film. Despite only being on set for a total of 11 days to film all of his required scenes, Christopher Plummer and Captain Von Trapp leave one of the most lasting impressions on this entire film. At number 3, The Incredible Musical Score. Written by Richard Rodgers and Oscar Hammerstein II, the Sound of Music soundtrack has gone on to become one of the most successful albums in history, selling over 20 million copies worldwide. With undeniable gems like I Have Confidence and Edelweiss, and one of the most covered tracks today, My Favorite Things. The album reached number 1 on the Billboard 200 in 1965 and remained on the list for an astounding 238 weeks. In 2015, Billboard named the album the second greatest album of all time. Let's start at the very beginning, a very good place to start. At number 2, Do Re Mi. Although it is most definitely part of the aforementioned score, Do Re Mi proved not only to be one of the most musically recognizable and celebrated tracks, but one of the film's most difficult numbers to shoot. Do Mi 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 So So Re Fa Fa La Ti Ti Shot in numerous locations all over Salzburg would have been challenging enough if the weather that spring didn't want to test production crews just a little bit more. Waiting for Sunlight pushed film time for this number far beyond expected dates. Thankfully, the results produced arguably the film's most iconic number, taking up just nine minutes of film time, but took an incredible two months to complete. And finally, at number one, Julie Andrews. Just imagine, we were one spoon of sugar away from Julie Andrews losing out on this role to the likes of Anne Bancroft, Doris Day, or Grace Kelly. All three were in serious consideration for the film. Oh, help. Thankfully, the Disney hit Mary Poppins had just recently been released, and Andrews was a shoo-in for Maria. As one critic put it, she's not just the star of the film, she's an entire constellation. 
firmly number one on our list because whenever she's on screen, you find yourself completely forgetting about any of the top four reasons we just told you to watch this film. An earnest, empathetic approach to Maria that seemingly only Andrews can provide, and a voice that swells among the greatest musical theater has ever given us. With the sound of music. If our first four reasons didn't get you, we can kind of understand. Hello? But this one, Dame Julie Andrews, is reason enough to enjoy and fall in love with this film time and time again. That's our top five list. Thank you so much for watching. Go watch The Sound of Music. But first, don't forget to leave me a comment of some of your favorite moments in this film and why you can't help watching it time and time again. Hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'm Mark Daniel Patrick. And thanks so much for watching.